What's up guys, Jeremy here from RC Nightmare, uh, bringing you a, an unboxing of a ProTech Prodigy 620 Duo. Um, so now that Brandon has his mobile site now, he's working on a different project, I needed a new charger and new power supply because he took our 40 amp, we had a ProTech 40 amp for about two years and he took that with him, I think, I haven't been able to find it. And so I needed a charger. I've been living off an Onyx 235 for about six weeks now. And because I just have, I'm not great at planning, uh, it's been a, night, a nightmare. In fact, it's really cut down the amount of time I've been spending with the RCs because sometimes I, I get like, you know, the, the urge to go and maybe run around a little bit and then the batteries are dead. Um, and I don't want to wait forever for them to charge. So the last uh, standalone charger like this I had was a Hyperion, I think 60 something, something, something. And uh, so this one is similar spec, but it was a lot more affordable. Um, I've had great luck with the ProTech batteries, and so I decided I would check this out. This is, I assume, Amain's kind of house brand. But this is uh, your standard like dual output. Um, it can charge up to 6S, basically everything excuse me, um, lipo, life, lithium ion, um, nickel metal, and uh, NIMH. And you get 400 watts per channel and up to 20 amp charge rate. You can also store a lot of profiles, up to 10, just like a lot of uh, the higher end chargers. And this, this can uh, plug into a standalone power supply or like your car battery, which actually I probably charge at my car more than I charge anywhere else. Um, so you've got a nice manual that comes with it, um, color, pretty nice. Um, and then you've got your balancing ports. Important thing to keep in mind too is don't just toss these around. Uh, I'm pretty haphazard when it comes to taking care of things. And uh, you know, these things break, uh, they just do. And so make sure you just take, take good care of that. And here's the charger and uh, your connectors and your banana wires and stuff like that. The one thing that really strikes me about this charger is that it really feels beefy. I mean, I realize that that is just kind of, how do you say, like it's superficial, but it's, it's like solid aluminum. It feels really well made. Um, it's got the dual backlit displays here so you can very easily kind of monitor each battery that you're charging, their progress, what you're doing. And I know if I'm at the track, Sometimes I have a 2S charging and a 3S charging, and I'm just kind of swapping them in and, out, in and out, and it's just real easy to see everything. And um, very simple, your start, stop button, increase, decrease, so, so simple. On the side, you've got your uh, outputs there, and you've got your balance port and a temperature sensor if you so choose to use something like that. Um, I think this is going to be great for us, well, for me specifically, because I can take it, plug it straight into the car, it was a lot more affordable than the Hyperion. And to be honest, you know, there's so many aftermarket chargers out there right now. It's nice to buy one from a place that I know and that, that I can trust. And then I have good experience with their customer service. So um, if you have any questions about the Prodigy 620 Duo, I think it's a great charger for, for uh, I would say, uh, even uh, a little bit more than casual. As long as you use your RCs a little bit more than casually, I think it's great because it gives you the power to charge two batteries at the same time. Um, all the way up to, you know, people that race. If you have yourself a strong power supply, it's, it's good. Um, we'll keep you posted on, on what we see with it, but otherwise you can post your questions down below. Or you can shoot over on over to our website at rcnetmer.com and uh, keep the conversation going there on our forum. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.